In this video, I'm going to be giving you high converting places to put opt-in boxes. And since we just learned how to create an opt-in box with magic action box, and we know that we can use the short code to basically put it anywhere on the site, this will be a beneficial lesson for you. So these go in the order that I think are the most successful. The first is the home feature area. This is the top of the home page. We saw examples on my page, on Tim Ferriss's four hour work week social triggers. They, they all put it on the home page right at top. So if you're a new or returning visitor, you are asked to opt in right away. The next top place is at the top of the sidebar. So the sidebar is a little bar to the right or to the left of the main content of the page. Not all pages have a sidebar, but typically a blog article will have a sidebar. And you can see it at videoschoolonline.com, an example of my sidebar with the opt-in box on top. The reason why this is so important is because a lot of people aren't going to be coming to your website directly through the home page. So they're going to bypass the home page by searching on Google for a topic. They're going to see that you have an article about that topic because you're putting out a lot of great content. They're going to go directly to that page. And so they miss that home page often. But on your blog article on the right side, on that top of that sidebar, they see that you have this opt-in box and the sidebar populates every single page that has a sidebar. So you don't have to worry about putting this on all the pages, it automatically does that. And at the top of the sidebar is better than on the bottom just because you want it above the fold. You want it at the top of the page so that people don't have to scroll down to see it. The next best place is at the end of a blog article. You can do it on the sidebar and at the end of the blog article, but I don't know, sometimes I think when people do that, it's just like two in my face. So I would choose one or the other. But at the end of the blog article is good too because people who have read your entire article are the ones that are going to be the most interested in signing up for your newsletter or your mailing list. And so they're, they've already read your article. They're already in the mindset that they appreciate you as a content creator. And so if you have an opt-in at the end of an article, hey, that's great, win, win, win for them. They get more content and you get a subscriber who is already invested in your content. The next is the dreaded pop-up box. So I know if you're like me, you hate pop-up boxes. You hate having to X out of them, but they work and that's the truth, especially with opt-in boxes, they work. People see them. And again, if it follows the formula of a perfect opt-in box, it will convert. Another place to put it is the start here page. So a lot of websites nowadays have a start here page. It's more than just an about page, which is another great place to put an opt-in box. But the start here page gives people more information about how they use your website. Again, look at videoschoolonline.com for an example of my start here page. It gives a little bit of about me. It gives some of my most popular posts. It gives them some more background about my mission and what benefits they can get from this site. And it also asks them to sign up for my newsletter if they want. So another great place because people are invested once they read that page. And if they do like what they see on your start here page, they're more likely to subscribe. Another great place is doing a top bar, which is above all the content. You might have seen it before. I gave an example a while back of Side Hustle Nation who had one. And it's basically a bar at the very top of the website that has a short opt-in sentence and you can subscribe that way. Now it doesn't have room for pictures or a lot of text, so it has to be very simple, but it's another great way because it's, again, above the fold. People don't have to scroll down to see it and it could be on all of your pages. So if you're looking for a tool that helps you create that top bar opt-in, if your own plugin or your own email marketing service doesn't have that option, Hello Bar is a good one to check out. And then the last place is in the footer. So again, this is just a way to have the opt-in box on every single page. Your footer is going to be the same thing on every page of your website, and you might as well have another place that people can opt in. The main takeaway is not to put 
your opt-in form on every single place. I think picking two or three is good. I chose to put it in the home feature area. I have it on the top of the sidebar. And then I also have it on the start here page. I don't have an about page, but I also have a special page dedicated to this free guide and to getting people to sign up. You see here that I have this free guide link up at the top right here. Everyone can see it. Everyone can get to it from any page on my website and it explains what this guide is and it has that opt-in information as well. So it's kind of similar to what is on my homepage but it's a dedicated page that people can then share with other people or it's just an easy way to get to the guide and it's just a a good way to get people clicking on this page and potentially signing up by saying free guide right up here in my menu. So those are some great ways and places to put your opt-in boxes. Thank you so much for watching and now it's time for you to take action and start implementing your opt-in boxes throughout your website.